Hey guys, this video tutorial is brought to you by webvidtots.com and in this video tutorial I will be showing you how to format cells in Excel so um, basically formatting is what is up here under the number section and it's just how the cell is recognized so by default your cell should be recognized as general so really that's no specific format uh, this is just Excel's obviously general one and that's just for text and numbers as you can see okay so if we type a number in there so 12 as you can see general is going to pick that number up automatically and if we type text in again general sorry I've had time on there before but general will actually detect on this so we're just going to delete that for now and we're actually going to put number and then we're just going to type 100 as you can see when you put number you have a decimal appear so you've got 100.00 okay what this allows you to do is increase the decimal or decrease the decimal so we want to decrease the decimal by two places and now Excel has actually made that into a number without decimal places okay so this tool here just allows you to uh, use the accounting so uh, it will turn it into uh, euros you've got English United States and uh, United Kingdom which is pounds uh, you can go on to more accounting formats but we're not going to do that now we're just going to go through the the uh, next one which is a percentage si uh, style so I'm just going to click that and as you can see it's gone to 10,000 percent now this is because we have had we have actually had it as a currency so all we're going to do now is actually just change that to 100 and as you can see when you're actually editing this cell so you can see the percentage sign is actually always there so whatever I type in there, it's going to actually put that in, uh, behind a percentage sign. And there are, uh, this is just a comma style. So with a thousand separator this is. So again we can just remove them two decimals and there's 1004. You can put 2001. And as you can see this comma uh, style will actually put a comma between the thousands digit okay so that's number so now we're just going to look at currency uh, we have just gone over currency here but uh, this is just I think they're actually the same so sorry about uh, 50 not uh, 50 with the little, uh, bracket and there you go if you hit currency now uh, the 50 will turn into a 50 pounds and again you can decrease or increase the amount of decimals you wished you have so let's just delete that now and we'll look at the next one which is accounting so that is still basically your currency so accounting would be 50 pounds now because okay now we're just going to go on to the next one which is short date so we're just going to hit date and we're just going to put uh, 09 and 9 and 9 5 and as you can see that has automatically recognized that that is the date by the uh, forward slashes so 0909 which is the 9th of September 1995 which was my birthday and you've got long date so it will display the 9th of September 1995 which is what I just told you um, so that is date uh, basically so we're just going to move that down a bit and now we're going to go on to time so what we're going to do first is actually put a time in there so let's just do 10 minutes uh, 10 hours 30 seconds oh, sorry 10 hours 30 minutes and 41 seconds uh, we're just gonna, uh, again that is uh, actually formatted as date at the moment but we are going to change that and there you go that is the time that I have just put down so it is 10 hours 30 minutes and 41 seconds 
Okay, you can also do stuff like percentage. So if I was going to put 65% there, obviously it's not going to display anything at the moment because it's on time, but if you change that to a percentage, we can actually uh, change the two zeros and just put 65%. Again, you can decrease the decimal amounts. Okay, so now we are going on to fraction. So fraction is basically what it says a lot. I mean, so if I put 20 there, uh, 520 is going to 100. So we're just going to put that. And as you can see, Excel detects that the fraction is going to be a whole, which is one. And then it puts it into a, a fraction. So if I put 0 0.4, it's going to put it into a fraction over 2 over 5. And I'll put 0 0.6. And again, 3 over 5. And that's 20, uh, 520 is going to 100. And that's uh, correct. Next, we've got scientific. And that is just literally uh, as what it says. It's a scientific way of uh, displaying a number or uh, text. And finally, we've got text, which is just literally your bog standard text that you're going to get and i think that's it for for uh number formats today so thanks for watching guys and remember we do put a lot of time and effort into these videos so please rate comment and subscribe